Cowan's real estate market is booming. Prices for houses recently set new all-time records, attracting many would-be investors to consider the industry. Today, we meet real estate investor and advice columnist Yan Bozhi. Yan has been in real estate since a tender age of 24 and now has properties in all five of Taiwan's biggest cities. Let's hear how he got into the market and his story of making a career from property. 38-year-old Yan Bozhi has been investing in real estate for 14 years. His property portfolio is worth over 10 million NT. His success today can be traced back to listening to his family members chat as a young man. When the old folks got together, they'd always talk about one of two things. Oh, the price of those houses is shot up. I'd have bought one back in the day if I knew that was going to happen. Or TSMC and Honhai. TSMC shares were so cheap back in the day, so I chose those two things to research. Yen was determined not to become a 9-to-5 office worker. He knew that real estate investment rewards the early bird, so he set his goal to buy a house while still at university. He saved up money through tutoring and delivering food for two or three hours a day. He also used his delivery job to make contacts in various communities and businesses, building a network and learning about real estate in different areas. When you're delivering meals, you hear the property managers talking about which houses are for sale, which owners are getting divorced. They might sell their house cheap. At the age of 24, Yen bought his first property on Linson North Road for 2.5 million NT, and his life as a landlord began. There's lots of entertainment and leisure venues here, so the value of the property is lower, but you can charge a high rent for it. I bought it over 10 years ago for 2.5 million NT. A reasonable market price for it now would be 5 to 6 million NT. I earned back the investment years ago. To make a profit on real estate, investors need to think about their target tenant demographics and the selling points of the property. The rate of return should be 3% or above. They also need to be very careful in selecting the property. Yen even hired a coder to write him a program so he could be the first to know when a property came on the market. In Greater Taipei these days, it's basically very hard to find something that will give you a 3% rate of return. The amount of capital you invest at the start will determine the potential for profit. It's not like there's a metro station here so the price will rise. That's not guaranteed. Having got into real estate so early, Yen knew to expand his portfolio and watch the value of the properties grow. So he didn't invest all his funds at once, instead choosing to rely on a mortgage and investments from friends for 80% of the cost. Later, he sold the property and saw his profits soar. Since then, he's continued to expand the portfolio from Taipei to New Taipei, Taichung, Tainan and Kaohsiung. Now, he pockets a tidy 100,000 NT every month just from rents.